Chief Washington correspondent Mike Emanuel tells us how that might work. For migrants entering the country illegally, there's an effort to provide them with a lawyer on the taxpayer dime. President Biden's 2022 budget requests $15 million to allow certain illegal immigrants to hire private lawyers for their asylum cases. Another $23 million would cover legal orientation programs administered by the Justice Department. It is not the time to come and try to go through a regular migration. We want to have an effective process where you can apply uh, for asylum, where you can apply for legal status. Fox News has learned the Justice Department has already awarded nearly $80 million in government contracts to the Vera Institute for Legal Services at the border. Much of the money focused on helping unaccompanied minors. It would be a fiscal bottomless pit. The Conservative Heritage Foundation has studied this issue and notes this would give illegal immigrants a right American citizens do not have. If you think about the, the costs uh, and attorney's fees and the hours spent in consultation and preparation and court time, it's thousands of dollars just for a deportation defense. Current law allows migrants to receive representation from attorneys from the many pro bono groups that offer legal assistance or out of their own pockets. Many of these private groups say some government funding is necessary and welcome. Part of the pitch is this is designed to help migrant women and children. And while the current proposed spending is small in government terms, critics note once the government starts providing that benefit, it is virtually impossible to take it away. Experts say this is a fight that would seem likely heading for court. Brett? Mike, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.